inverse relationship between uh, inverse relationship between the interest rate and the bond price so how how is it possible so that means when the interest rate goes up so it goes like this so when the interest rate goes up okay bond price comes down and vice versa okay so that means when the interest rate comes down bond price goes up so how is this possible why is this possible and how does this work so that's what we will be seeing now okay so imagine let's take an example uh, so you have bought your bond let's say uh, maturity is uh, you know uh, Five years, so one, two, three, four, five. Zero, one, two, three, four, five years bond. Okay, five years bond, so five year maturity. Five year maturity. Coupon is ten percentage. Okay, future value is thousand. So you calculate ten percentage of thousand, it comes to hundred per annum. So per annum you will get hundred as coupon. 100, 100, 100, 100, and at the end of the fifth year, you will get the principal amount also, which is 1000. Okay. Now, let's say so, so uh, you bought this bond for 1000. Okay. So you bought this bond for 1000. So this is this is Mutut Finance bond. Example this is Mutut Finance bond. So every year you are getting 100 uh, out of this investments. So now imagine at the end of the second year. Okay. So at the end of the second year. The interest rate in the market. Okay. Goes up. Say for example. You know. Uh, like, like nowadays you know because of uh, war oil price is going up and so the inflation is going up similarly for whatever reason inflation goes up so when the inflation goes up okay so the interest rate you know goes up in the market now when the interest rate uh, goes up imagine now this is the time when the interest rate is high at the end of the second year and now this time lnt wants to raise money lnt lnt wants to raise money so when they want to raise money they will have to pay you know higher interest rate that is which is prevailing in the market say for example so right now the interest rate prevailing is 12 percentage assume like this okay so if it is 12 percentage what will happen is they will raise money by issuing 12 percentage uh, 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 12 percentage rate of interest so at this time imagine mr x is holding this bond of mutut finance and he is standing over here and he wants to sell off this bond at the end of the second year for whatever reasons okay let's say he is in need of money or he doesn't like this bond anymore for whatever reasons he wants to just sell it off now the question is who will be interested in buying his bond because whoever buys this bond of mutut finance he will be paid 100 100 100 only he will be paid 100 100 every year okay so that means 10 percentage uh, 10 percentage of this thousand however whoever is you know, whoever is buying the bond of uh, lnt they will be paid 12 percentage okay so when i say 12 percentage imagine this bond is also issued at par so in this case it will be if it is a you know three year bond 0 1 2 3 so if it is a 12 uh, you know 12 percentage issued at par so every year the bondholder will get 120, 120, 120, that is 12, 12 percentage of uh, 1000, 12 percentage, 12 percentage of 1000, which is the par value. So you multiply, you will get one, uh, 120 and then at the end, you will get the principal amount also. So you are going to get 12 percentage, 120 here. So who will be interested in buying the bond of Mr. X? Okay, so nobody will be interested in it. 
but still somehow mr x wants to sell his bond so what will be the trick what is he going to do how will he sell his bond so simple what he is going to do now is he has to you know reduce the price of the bond to attract investors okay because now no longer is this bond is attractive people like lnt bond people don't like mutual finance bond so what will you do mr x will reduce the price he will reduce the price of the bond he will reduce the price of the bond so that means when the interest rate so therefore when the interest rate in the market went up when the interest rate in the market went up the price of the existing bond so in this case mutual finance is bond comes down so this is called inverse relationship this is called inverse relationship inverse relationship now you can take another example also say for example you know instead of interest rate coming going up if it comes down what will happen so here again this is mutual finance bond so 1 2 3 4 5 year timeline 0 1 2 3 4 5 ah sorry 3 4 five every year you are supposed to get 100 100 100 100 100 and then 1000 because you are being paid 10 percentage coupon on 1000 which is the par value bond is issued at par so now after 2 years imagine after 2 years for some reason the interest rate in the market comes down so instead of 10 percentage the interest rate in the market is let's say it has come down to 7 percentage okay think like this 7 percentage now what will happen uh, so now lnt is is issuing bond at the rate of 7 percentage okay so so each year they will pay 7 percentage so 7 percentage is the coupon future value is 1000 so you will get uh, coupon is 70 7 percentage of 1000 70 70 70 70 then at the end of the maturity you will get Uh, the, uh, the 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 principal amount so in this case now the question is you know uh, people whoever is investing into lnt bond they are going to get uh, 7% rate of interest it is issued at par okay 7% rate of interest now at this time for whatever reason mr x who is holding mutual finance bond he wants to sell so he is standing over here at the end of 2 years so when he is ready to sell what will be the demand for his bond the demand for his bond will be very high because uh, uh, because the prevailing interest rate in the market is only 7 percentage whereas uh, mutual finance's bond is uh, is you know uh, uh, is is giving 10 percentage so what will happen here is automatically there will be more demand so when mr x comes to know that his bond has more demand in the market he will raise the price so mr x will increase Mr. X will increase the price of the bond when the interest rate in the market when the interest rate in the market comes down. Thank you for watching.